video on uh, my extended breastfeeding experience. I'm now 32 months into breastfeeding and I just wanted to kind of share how I've been feeling and what has been going on and also um, kind of leave a testimony for other mamas who might find themselves in this uh, experience. I found that because it is not what people normally do, it is considered sometimes not normal and this is not the case in the YouTube community, the community of mamas I have sur I'm surrounded by usually is, there's lots of support uh, for extended breastfeeding and breastfeeding in general but in real life I feel that people are less encouraging and supporting especially in their kind of reactions and comments I've had people saying when you're gonna stop uh, do you feed her food a doctor asked me and that that was kind of one of the strangest comments I've had or she's so big or she has teeth and things like that that is why also I feel like exposed when I talk about the extended breastfeeding and that's why I feel a bit protective. Uh, in my experience in different countries there is different levels of uh, ac acceptance of the extended breastfeeding and there is different perceptions of when when this extended breastfeeding should stop. Sometimes it's one year is enough and sometimes two years since I, to be fair, I really like to talk to people in Al to moms in Albania because they are very supportive as well. And you hear stories like, oh, my my boy was almost four. He was coming to my job to ask for to breastfeed. Why I do it? Why I'm extend? I, I am in this extended breastfeeding um, experience is is because it is comforting for my child. Is a relationship between uh, me and her and I could break it however I'm not having issues with it so my mother instinct says that it's better if she breaks it because it feels that it's more important to her than to me if that makes sense uh, it we also have a third routine and it feels easier obviously how it works for us is that we have gone down with the feedings and we have two to three feedings a day. Uh, she's having only the nursing to sleep feedings. All the other feedings are gone. What I would like to achieve is to have her wean more in the most natural way or without a lot of fuzzing and crying. We kind of have started helping her to win. Um, first thing that we did about about 18 months old we brought the bottle of water during the breastfeeding session at night and now she kind of sleeps when she sleeps she drinks the whole bottle of water that means that my milk supply has dropped considerably but she still needs that final in the final moments when she's falling asleep she still needs to breastfeed. Um, we have tried for my husband to take over uh, when she goes to sleep but it's not working. She keeps him there for one hour and she reads books and whatever and then she asks for, for him to go out and for the mama to come to the room. So we have yet to find how to make this work. We talk to her because she's she's at that point that she can even argument why she has to breastfeed now. For example, one time my husband told her, uh, "Look, you are too big now to breastfeed," and she she was like, "Um, um, you could tell us." She was thinking and she said, "No, daddy, you are big," <laughs> which I thought was pretty smart. There is also a procedure is is described in the cry sleep solution. I have not read it myself but I read like from comments of other moms online and that consists on uh, um, is, is specifically to break this nursing to sleep uh, 
this need to nurse to sleep and it says to breastfeed for five minutes and then uh, unlatch uh, the baby from breastfeeding and then if they cry you, you let them breastfeed again but you unlatch them after I don't remember one minute or so and you keep doing that cycle until the baby falls asleep I found that that works might work very well for babies but at this point it's very hard for the two, half, two and a half years old because you cannot really unlatch with your hand it's like you need collaboration otherwise they kind of um, strengthen their muscles and they don't let you unlatch. So this is where we are with the weaning and I am hoping that you will have also any other suggestions. Everything is welcome. Finally I'm going to tell you a little bit about me uh, in relationship to breastfeeding. I feel that I have more acne usually. It's not too bad but I have more than usual than I used to. Um, my weight has increased. I did a research to see if there was any experiment or any kind of measurements about extended breastfeeding and uh, gaining weight. I found nothing, so probably it's not related to breastfeeding, but I thought I should bring it up and maybe if you, if you experience that you might want to let me know. Um, the I don't experience any more engorgement. My breast uh, size is almost back to normal. This is my experience. This is uh, this video. I think is more for other mamas who might have found themselves in the extended breastfeeding, and I just wanted to let this testimony online to say it's okay if you don't feel like breaking the relationship, the breastfeeding relationship. You you keep that going. Your child is gonna and eventually break it. That was all for me. Um, thanks for watching and see you next video.